Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, Ace's Home Expert, and today we're going to talk about growing grass in those patches in your lawn where it just doesn't look good. Now you have a lot of choices when it comes to uh, filling in those patches. Uh, you can use a starter grass seed uh, like that Scott's product. Um, there's also an easy seed that comes in different varieties. That one's actually for areas where maybe you have pets that are uh, leaving you little spots on the lawn. Or there's the Patchmaster uh, as well, which has a blend of not only seed, but mulch and fertilizer built in. That's what we're going to use today. Now, when you have areas like this, the most important thing, the critical aspect of it is you need to kind of rough up the surface a little bit and loosen the soil. And you can do this with a rake and you, this is old dead thatch. So you want to kind of pull that out of there because that's just going to get in the way and choke the lawn. And so after you've kind of loosened that up a little bit and you just, I mean, not much, right? Because the seed is going to penetrate there. But just that little bit of loosening is going to allow that seed to grow. You want to have it so it's not fighting a really compacted soil. Now with this patch master, I've opened up a bag in the back. You're just going to go ahead and take it and let me show you what it is. Look at it. It has a mulch in it, the seed, you can see kind of that yellow color, and then a little bit of fertilizer as well. Now what's really unique about this is that when you water it, it holds multiple times more water to its uh, uh, ratio, meaning that I think about six times the water gets held. I'm going to go ahead and blend that in there. What's nice about the mulch in there and the fertilizer, if you just put seed down, you'll probably have to cover it with um, some kind of peat moss or something like that because you don't want the birds to eat the seed. Now I just have a watering can for the sake of uh, demonstration purposes, but you're going to go ahead and water this in. You want to make sure that you're doing this patching after the soil temperature reaches at least 50 degrees, otherwise the seed won't germinate. So that's important depending on the time of year that you do this. It's also very important that you keep this moist. And so when it comes to seeding an area and patches like this, it's really a good idea and I know it's difficult for many of us, but if you can water twice a day, just a little bit, I don't need a lot of water, I just need to keep this damp so it germinates. Now everybody wants to know when am I going to start to see grass? Well it all depends. Uh, what's important too I want to show you is on this product it's a specific uh, sunshade mix and so this is probably uh, the general variety that you can use in almost every area but they do also make mixes that are designed for dense shade or really really sunny. The more sun it gets the faster the grass grows. Kind of as a rule of thumb you're going to see grass peaking up through here in about two weeks. And in about three weeks, it's really going to be coming in. Keep it moist. Keep traffic off of it if you can. If you have pets in your backyard, if you can put a little fence around there to keep them from running across it, that'll help as well. You can do this yourself, and it's that easy. If you have other topics you'd like us to cover, just leave a comment on the bottom of this video.